All right, hey guys, back with another little more unusual rip here. I uh, recently did Gems of the Game and Sage High series. You can check those videos out in my recent posts. And uh, today we have new on the shelves, Sports Kings, Volume 5. Uh, I believe I was told that they are made by Sage. I couldn't find anywhere on the box that it says that, but they do kind of look familiar to uh, to some Sage boxes. But Sports Kings is a multi-sport product. As you can see on the box, we got tennis, gymnastics, football, baseball, you name it. Um, it's potentially in here. It is, uh, these were under $20, not even $20, I believe. So cheap product, relatively cheap. And really what you're looking for is you kind of get one nice card. You get a memorabilia, auto, and swatch insert. You get one of those. And then the base cards are kind of like old-timey, cartoony kind of cards, but there are some variations in those as well. It says that, where did it say it? There, Sports Kings since 1933. So apparently Sports Kings has been rocking for quite a while now. I got these at Target. Uh, I think they're available a few different places, but uh, there was a few on the shelves, so I thought I'd take a stab at them. Let's see what's inside of a Sports King. And you can decide if you wanna take a gamble on one of these. Best case, you get like a nice, you know, rookie patch auto. Um, certainly, if you get a nice one, it's worth something, and you only spent 20 bucks to get it, so take a gamble. Maybe you're just kind of bored between products like me. You've opened up enough Zenith. You've opened enough Illusions, even Prism, if you can find it. So inside we get a box of cards here, the box of base cards, and then what they call the bonus pack, which has the heater in it. Let's take a look first at the base cards. I will try to move through these as quick as I can. It's kind of like a box of playing cards kind of situation. And coming out uh, recently, or came out recently, is Select Basketball, which I have on order, so stay tuned for that. I got a Mega Box, and I'll probably get some Blasters too, take a spin on that, and I saw the pre-order for Optic, so I'm excited about that. We're down to like about a month, Optics will be shipping out, so that's gonna be a big excitement. All right, so getting started here, we got a checklist. Uh, it lists, I mean, 30 sports on there, rock climbing, waterman, Greco-Roman wrestling, covering a lot of bases here. So who knows what kind of card you're going to get. Um, and the number, the numbers here, 150 to 190-ish, from Wade Boggs to Hulk Hogan. To Richard Mandela. So, quite a mixture here. These are what the base cards are going to look like. As far as I know, the only real difference is you'll see like different backgrounds purple, blue, orange, yellow. I don't know that there's really any desirable parallels in these. But some people think they're kind of cool. Maybe you want to card of your favorite wrestler, Ozzy Smith. Or you want a card, surf card, that's cool. You want a card of your famous fencer. Well, this is the place to go if you want fencing cards. This is just a picture of a woman and her dog. I'm not sure what sport that is. Vinny Testaverde. Uh... This man has a saw in his hand. Rock climber. There's Barry Sanders. There's Hulk. I think that's the coolest base card. 
I grew up with Hulk Hogan, so, I mean, I grew up watching Hulk Hogan. Another Barry Sanders. And from the few videos I've watched of these, I got a lot of the same cards. It's not a very long checklist there, so I guess the base stuff, you're, everyone's gonna probably get kind of similar stuff. I got two boxes. I know the big timers will get like three to five boxes of everything. I'm not big time yet, so I at least get two to give you a little bit of a sampling. I'm not prepared to spend all my money on uh, Sports Kings cards. All right, so we're gonna sweat the, let's do this. I don't even wanna spoil it for myself. We'll sweat our heater. All right, so we get in the bonus pack some mini cards. A little wrestling, another Barry Sanders. That's our third Barry Sanders. He's all over Sports Kings. Kind of cool little tiny cards. Sports Kings gum, it's called, okay. I know back in the day, like the gum was a big part of, uh, a big part of the sports cards, or maybe it was some kind of loophole where they said they make gum, but you get sports cards with it, I don't know. There's the rock climber again. Variation wise, you know, this one has a purple background. This one has an orange background. Maybe there are, you know, multiple colors of the same card. And one is more desirable than another. All right, and the one that we've been waiting for. Hoping for, no offense, but I'm hoping for not like a fencing card or something. Oh, all right, it looks like baseball. Good. Memorabilia. We got Robinson Cano. I am unfamiliar. Baseball fans, I apologize. It is game worn though, and everyone I've seen, every uh, memorabilia card I've seen has been actually game worn, which is more than you can say for Panini these days. So shout out to Sports Kings for getting some actual game worn stuff. You have received a Sports Kings Volume 5 memorabilia card. Features a piece of a uniform worn by 2009 World Series and home run derby champion Robinson Cano during a professional game. Not even that he just slapped it on, but he wore it during a game. So that's kind of cool. So like there's the potential, you know. You get get like a Michael Jordan sock or something. How about that? So I don't know if that particular one's worth much or desirable, but I can tell you that it's the first game-worn patch I've gotten of anything in ages. So there you go. Let's check out the other box. So if you wanna buy as many of these as you can, and just see what, what that one card is gonna be. If you get a card that's worth more than $20, it is, I'd say it's possible with game worn patches. Get the right guy, or an auto. I think it's kind of fun because it's something new and different, but I uh, think I'll save most of my money for uh, select and uh, optic. Thank you very much. But I noticed that quite a few of these were off the shelf, so people are buying them. Not just me. All right, second base box. I'm kind of whizzed through these. I think that was, that may have been the first card in the last one too. I mean, with that small of a checklist, you literally might just get the same cards every time. These look like they're in the same order. Should get Hulk Hogan here as the lady and her dog. Any test of Verde. Sawman. First Barry Sanders Hulk. Another Barry Sanders. These base cards, 
you know, I try to be positive, but they're not great. Not great stuff for me. All right, let's hop into the bonus pack. There's someone out there who collects everything. So they've been doing it since 1933. Obviously it's working. Let's cover up our special card here. And as far as I know, you get, you get one, you don't get two memorabilia cards, you get one. All right, our minis. At least I think that's different, maybe. Nope, Barry Sanders. She was on the back last time, Ozzy Smith. So you kind of get, you kind of get the same stuff in all of them. All right, and the grand finale, and if you have tuned in for this Sports King Volume 5 broadcast, appreciate you watching. I've actually got more views on these recent unusual products than I do opening popular, more high-end stuff. So thanks for tuning in. I will, if I find more stuff like this, I will keep buying it and keep ripping it. Thanks to those who subscribe. And if you don't subscribe, please consider subscribing. I'm a relatively new channel I'm trying to blow up. So I appreciate each and every one of you. We got another patch. This looks like a weird sport. We got Kylie Humphreys. Is she a skier? Unique swatch from a bobsled. <laughs> Bobsled racing suit during an official run. So, I mean, I will say it's cool that they, not only is it worn, but it's worn in an event. I mean, that takes some effort to go through making a card like that. And I'm sure for some of these people, they're not in a lot of products like this. So it's cool to have a card with your memorabilia in it for these non big name sports. Uh, I would have loved to have got a nice little football card or maybe a baseball card that I recognized a little more, but it was, uh, I mean, I enjoyed it anyways. We got a couple memorabilia cards. I think this, oops, is gonna be our top pick right here. And that will be my review of Sports Kings Volume 5. As I said, coming soon, select basketball. But even when we're in a drought, it seems like there's always something coming out like this. So uh, as long as they keep making stuff, I will keep making videos. Appreciate you. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.